Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is Psychodoc, and today I'm going to show you guys how to replicate the place at start false behavior from previous games and to use this across multiple rounds. So in Halo 5, you have to account for the intro time for each round. So if you want something to spawn a minute into each round, you have to account for that 13 second intro in addition to that minute. However, when you are making th things for multiple round game modes, this becomes problematic because in subsequent rounds, the intro is only 5 seconds. So if you set something to spawn 73 seconds into the game, which would make it spawn exactly 1 minute into the first round, it would actually spawn early in all of the subsequent rounds. So this trick is actually based on some collaborations from uh, Turbtastic, Knockyard, and myself. Uh, this is actually Knockyard's method I'm going to be showing today. This is the best method I know of, uh, but I have to thank Turb as well for his contributions. So what we're going to be doing here is setting this on an overshield. And we're going to make this overshield spawn two minutes into the game and then continue to respawn normally after that. And, of course, that's very useful for, uh, you know, power-ups in, in particular. But uh, you can apply this to anything you want. You could spawn map geometry in or despawn map geometry a set amount of time into the game or, or what have you. So the first thing, or, or I suppose I should say, what we want to do here, basically what needs to happen, is we need to have two separate chains of logic going on. And one of those chains needs to result in a message for the first round, in the first round only. And the other one of those chains needs to result in a message taking place in subsequent rounds, but not in the first round. So what we're going to do is, with this first space whale dummy object here, we are going to turn Power Set Bravo off at the start of the match. That means this will happen only at the match start, not at the start of subsequent rounds. So at the start of the match, Power Set Bravo is turned off. Now next to it we have two dummy timers. And this one here is going to account for the intro for subsequent rounds, which is five seconds long. So five seconds into each round, including the first one, this is going to despawn right as the intro ends. And when it despawns, it's going to send a message on Delta. Now this dummy timer is going to do the same thing, except it's going to do it 13 seconds in. So right when the first round's intro ends, this timer is going to send a message on Charlie channel. Now if we come over here, we have an AND gate, which says on two conditions, in, and those conditions are power bravo being on and message received on delta. We're going to send a message on alpha. Now if we think about this, when is uh, the bravo power state going to be on? So far we, we don't have anything telling it to be on. We're telling it to turn off at the start of, of the round. So this timer is going to make more sense in, in a moment. But this one is for the first round. And this is another AND gate, which says on power state Bravo off and on message received Charlie, we're going to send a message on alpha. Now we know that 13 seconds into the first round, this is going to take place. And that is because the uh, Bravo power state is turned off at the start of the first round and that Charlie, the timer, is sending a message at 13 seconds into the first round. So, so this is going to relay a message 13 seconds into each round currently, though. So we need something that tells the power set Bravo to turn back on. And so this says, this is another dummy timer, and it says 15 seconds in, we're going to turn Bravo on. So 15 seconds into the first round, Bravo is going to be turned on. And because this guy is only sending a message at match start and not at round start, 
Bravo will never be turned off again. And that means that five seconds into subsequent rounds, but not the first round, this uh, pair of conditions will be met. So long story short, five seconds into every round after the first one, we're gonna send a message on alpha. And 13 seconds into the first round, we're gonna send a message on alpha. And that accounts for the difference in intro times. And then on our object we're affecting, we are simply saying, in this case, on message received, alpha despawn. And then it's going to respawn 120 seconds later and continue to behave normally for the rest of the round. So it may sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually fairly straightforward. Uh, just, uh, you know, if you set it up like this and if you think it through, it, uh, it does make sense. So again, you can use this on power-ups. That's the best application I can think of off the top of my head. But of course, like I said, if you want any event to happen X amount of time into each round, you can, you can do this. And you're just working off of that message on the alpha channel to make that happen. So I'm gonna show this in game and you will see that at the end of the intro of each round, our power-up will despawn and it will respawn two minutes later. So hopefully you guys find this helpful and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.